Hello my friends, welcome to my YouTube channel TechMart. Today I'll demonstrate uh, how we'll read a data from a file and how we'll write a data into a file. So here I'll use data power version 10.0.1.5 okay and I'll use multi-protocol multi gateway and uh, I'll read JavaScript means uh, I'll write the code in, into JavaScript so uh, I'll show you how we'll read and write a uh, data into a file okay so for that first I'll show you the multi-protocol gateway for that I created a multi-protocol gateway and here is a multi-protocol gateway Uh, so uh, I just mentioned the summary and here I'll create one processing policy that I already created and here uh, I don't have the backend so here I'll use a kind of loopback uh, here I created one uh, front side handler so the service will run by this handler so I have mentioned this port 2000 and I created just HTTP handler uh, I just kept all rest of the setting as default so here you can see I kept TLS profile as default one I mentioned the request type as JSON and response type as JSON also so as per your requirement you can change the request and response type rest of the setting I kept as default so uh, let's go inside the processing policy so here is the processing policy <coughs> Uh, I made two rules, okay. So, uh, wait a minute, let me scroll down it, okay. Here, so uh, here I made two rules uh, first rule is request rule, okay, and second rule is response rules. So, uh, for the timing, I just keep uh, the response rule as default one. And in the request rule, I'll write. Uh, I wrote uh, a, a gateway script. So I'll show you what gateway script I wrote here. First, we have a matching rule. Okay. After that, the gateway script, and then the result action. So the gateway script is. I'll show you the gateway script. <coughs> okay. So uh, this is my gateway script. So uh, here, as I told you, that we'll uh, read uh, a data from a file and write into a file using the JavaScript. So to use the file function, we have to use fs, and first we have to get the fs into our code. So we'll use uh, require fs. So here, uh, like you know, that uh, in the Java we have to create the objects to. Uh, call, call the function inside the classes so here similar way we are creating we are using an object uh, variable variable name is fs okay so uh, here what i'll do i'll read a data uh, which are all i pass okay so here i'm using a postman okay uh, this is my postman okay so uh, here is the data power url okay the service running on data power and the port as I showed you the port is 2000 okay and a URI I'm just passing read write file so here uh, whatever data I pass from here okay it will write into a file okay and <clears throat> if already data is available then we'll read from the file so here my code is like that uh, we'll read from the session okay and uh, here we are defining a variable topic okay so here is the message the message will contain uh, the data this okay this will be inside the message okay and in error means if there is something error then all the error message will be available in this variable so here i created one variable topic and i'll read uh, the input data inside a topic variable okay uh, I'm just logging the topic variable into uh, console. So here what I, I'll do, I'll have a, a temporary file, okay. I created a variable temp file and my file will be created in temporary, okay. It will read from the temporary folder and it will write it inside a temporary folder, okay. So here uh, first what I'll do, I'll read a file, okay. So 
here the use case is first we have to read the file uh, if uh, the file is not available okay we'll write the data inside the file otherwise what we'll do whatever data available in the file will uh, show uh, or will write into our console okay so i after this what we'll do <coughs> here first we'll read the file if uh, uh, the file is not available <coughs> or if there is some issue uh, to reading the file so as i told you data will be inside the data variable and error if there is some error while reading the file it will come inside an error if there is an error i'll just print file does not exist or unable to read the file if we are able to open the file okay then whatever content is available in the file it will be available in the data variable okay so here as we can see that if there is error means file does not exist or unable to read the file so what we'll do we'll create some data and we'll write i uh, will not create the data actually but already we have the data in a variable and we'll write the data into a file so here we'll create a variable buffer okay and whatever data we read here okay uh, we'll <coughs> uh it is it's already uh, json we, we use json dot parse okay and we uh, assign to this variable so whatever data uh, we get we got uh, we'll uh, write into a buffer okay we'll use this uh, <coughs> class new buffer okay and after that we'll use this options okay in the option we have need to pass three uh, parameter file on the location of the file second thing is data okay whatever data is available here in this variable and ttl is a time to live here i just mentioned it's 60 second okay the maximum uh, time to live for a file would be one day okay so uh, we as per our requirement we can change the time here but it shall be always in the seconds okay so here i'm just write, writing the option means whatever i defined in this uh, json array i just uh, just printing this one okay we can ignore this if, if needed okay so after this after uh, <coughs> creating this variable option what we'll do i uh, will use a write function okay using this uh, object so here what we need to pass the option okay and the function error okay means this is the uh, uh, default syntax of this uh, write file operation okay so here uh, error means if uh, we are unable to write the file or any error it will just print why we are unable to write inside a file else what we'll do we'll just mention file write successfully and we'll give uh, output like i as i showed you that will uh, hit from the postman so we'll able to see uh, the message in the uh, response okay so here this case is what means the file is not available okay and we are reading uh, whatever we passed as input data and we'll write into a file else else part is what if file is available there and we are able to read the file then just will uh, display uh, what uh, what is the data inside the file okay so uh, let's let's execute this code okay and let's see what we will receive so here <coughs> let me go to data power okay so uh, this is about the request rule and in the response response rule just uh, i'm not doing anything just pass through okay so uh, let me close this window okay and here okay so uh, now we'll hit and we'll go here okay and let me show one more thing here in the file management this is temporary here is no file available now okay so uh, as i told you first time uh, if uh, the file is not available we'll put the data inside a file okay so uh, let me trigger a request from postman so we'll trigger request here send okay and let's see what we received okay here 
so here we received that file right uh, successfully okay uh, but the thing is that here we didn't receive uh, didn't receive the output here uh, so uh, i'll fix this one uh, how we'll fix it I'll, I'll show that one okay so we'll come here multi protocol gateway <coughs> we have to set one variable so <coughs> so that it it will skip the back side okay so i'll use the advanced object okay we we'll go inside this one and here we need to search set variable okay i uh, will go inside that one okay. uh here we'll click on uh, we, here we need to mention the variable name okay for that what we can we can do we'll click on where builder here we need to go to the inside the service variable okay and search for the skip back side okay skip back side yes we got this variable okay and here need to assign some value okay so i am just putting one okay done okay uh, apply close window okay and apply here okay uh, let's go to let me see this configuration control panel <coughs> so here i let's see if the file is available no see the file is not available here because as i told you the file will be available for 60 second only okay so here are the logs let's uh, trigger from the postman okay uh, here the message will be topic okay read write file demo okay so uh, let's send okay and here now we can see the file write successfully okay so as per our code okay <clears throat> uh, if there is some issue uh, while opening the file or file does not exist okay so in that case we'll write the file okay uh, whatever con content we are passing here means whatever message we are passing here uh, it will write inside a file okay so now let's trigger one more request okay now it it showing the read write file demo because the second time the file is available and whatever we passed here in the message it displayed the same that is our logic okay so here whatever inside the file it will print okay so let's see if the file created there or not okay here Let refresh this one. Okay, okay. I think one minute is again. Let me trigger one more request. Okay. Okay. File read successfully, and let refresh it. And here we can see the file inside the temporary folder. Click here, and we can see the file .txt. And inside the file we have read write file demo whatever we are we passed here. Okay. so what we'll do we'll change the content okay file let i put one word live demo and i'll do one thing i'll delete the file okay or oh, let's see the file this file is available because i have mentioned uh, the file will live for 60 sang second so let's wait for few seconds uh i can delete the file manually but i want to show you that the file will automatically uh, deleted after 60, 60 seconds okay <clears throat> so now see uh, the file uh, has gone from this folder so what i'll do uh will request so our first time we shall receive file read successfully because first time the file will not be available there okay and second time we shall receive read write file live demo okay so let me click here see first time file was not available there so uh, we re we received a message as write file read successfully second time when i will hit we shall receive read write file live demo okay so in this we received read write file live demo so uh this is about uh 
demo okay how we can read uh, a data uh, from a file and how we can write a data into a, a file and the data means uh, whatever data we are passing as a request message okay and uh, the file uh, as I told you that the file will be live for 60 seconds only but as per your requirement uh, the max time is one day only so you have to convert uh, the one day time into second uh, it would be like that uh, like 60 seconds in uh, one hour okay one, sorry one minute and multiply by 60 okay so 360 second in one hour multiply by 24 okay so we can put this value as a maximum okay if we'll give more value apart from that it will give us a error okay let's try we'll use this one eight six eight six one eight five okay give this value maybe maybe we'll get an error services okay. <clears throat> file right successfully it didn't give any error but let's see and it's it didn't give any error okay but what will we do okay but i read somewhere that uh, uh, it, the file will be uh, alive for only uh, one day only but here it's showing that it's working more than uh, it's allowing more than that well okay so no problem but but this test in line environment if uh, it's allow or not but as per me i think it will allow for only uh, one day only, okay so this is about uh, this is all about the today's topic uh, thank you guys and guys if you didn't subscribe to my channel please please subscribe and click on bell icon so that you'll get the notification of uh, newly created videos thank you guys uh key uh, do exercise keep healthy uh do exercise stay healthy free and uh, thank you guys thank you very much